someone who had bought the DT prep program sent in this file because they were trying to use it to remove this white background. And to do that, make sure enable halftone is off and then under enable color knockout, click on this first color swatch and then use the eyedropper to click your white background and hit okay on the color picker. Now, when you click run, I like to go ahead and click default sliders and then I can look at the alpha channel. The problem is it took some of the white and the feathers out which they didn't want as well as some other areas like the eyes, teeth, and in these bones. Now if you go ahead and hit apply and then bring out the layers you have your original file here to the left and then you have the channel that is creating the mask. So if you wanted to at this point, you could grab the eraser tool, make sure it's set to pencil, and then paint away these areas that you want to show back up with the original color on your art. Now, if we just go back to the original right here and click remove background, we'll let Photoshop 2025 do what it thinks is removing the background. And now if we option or alt click on its channel, you can see there's a lot less here to remove to get the art correct. And maybe for this one, you could have just selected the magic wand, make sure continuous is on. And now you can click in the background and then shift click to add all of these inner areas within the design and then hit delete. The lesson is there are several ways of doing things like removing backgrounds. Know all of them and use the one that is most efficient for that particular image.